In this video, we will briefly look at Hans Christian Orsted's law and Michael Faraday's law. Orsted's law states that when a steady electrical current passes through a wire, it creates a magnetic field around it. And so Orsted was the first to discover a connection between electricity and magnetism. And he was the first individual to come up with a law associated with electricity and magnetism. The other individual that came up with a connection between these two was Michael Faraday. And Faraday's law is known as the law of induction. So, again, Orsted came up with the first evidence showing a connection between electricity and magnetism. And he's best known for doing these observations using a compass needle and how it's deflected uh, when it's placed near a wire carrying a current. What his law states is if the direction of the current is reversed, the direction of the magnetic field will reverse. The strength of the field is directly proportional to the magnitude of the current. The strength of the field at any point is inversely proportional to the distance of the point from the wire. And so here we can see that if we had our current and we were to place a compass around each of these, it would be deflected in the direction tangential to the circle. And so we would ultimately get this circular drawing here that would show us the direction of the magnetic field that's being produced by the current. With Orsted's experiment, we can see that all magnetic fields originate from moving electrical charges. The magnetic field appears only when uh, relative to motion is present between the electrical charge and the observer, so that the electric and magnetic fields are different aspects of the single electromagnetic field and very similar to some of our previous videos we can see the direction of the movement of those fields. There is a right-handed rule that's associated with Orsted's experiment. According to the right-handed rule the electron current in a wire and the magnetic field it generates are perpendicular to one another. Michael Faraday is the second individual that came up with relationships between magnetism and electricity. He built the first electrical motor and discovered magnetic induction. Electromagnetic induction is the process of using magnetic fields to produce voltage and in a complete circuit, a current. Faraday first discovered it by using some of um, Orsted's work. And then he started um, at first just use, using different combinations of wires and magnetic strengths and currents. But it wasn't until he tried moving the wires that he got any kind of success. And it turns out that the electromagnetic induction is created by just that moving um, the conductive substance through a magnetic field. Looking at how magnetic induction works, if we take a magnet, as that magnet is moved back and forth, a current is said to be induced into the wire. So how could we use this information? Uh, things like the forever flashlight uses uh, Faraday's principle. Um, Faraday's principle states that if an electrical conductor like a copper wire is moved through a magnetic field, the electric current will be generated and flow into the conductor. And what this does with the forever flashlight is that it removes the, the need for a battery. It can also be used in electrical guitars. Uh, the vibrating strings uh, induce an EMF in the, the coil. You have a permanent magnet inside of the coil that magnetizes a portion of the string nearest the coil. And as the string vibrates at some frequency, its magnetized segments produce a changing flux through the pickup coil. And the changing flux produces an uh, induced EMF that is fed to the amplifier. 
We can also use Faraday's law in apnea monitors. The, the coil of the wire is attached to the chest and it carries an alternating current. We have an induced EMF that produced by the varying fields that passes through uh, a pickup coil and when breathing stops, the pattern of the induced voltage stabilizes and an external monitor sounds the alarm saying the person has stopped breathing.